Hi guys, we're back. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been working on my print on demand business. As I'll be showing in tutorials, in the coming tutorials. So today we're looking at um, a new text to video and image to video platform called Hyper AI. Let's get started. First, when you search Hyper AI on YouTube, you're just going to select, click on the best match. Once you click on it, you get welcomed by this amazing user interface. The site shows and displays a lot of their uh, AI generated e videos and they're looking really, really good. I must say, we know they're cherry picked, but they're looking great. So once you're done, you're just going to click on try for free and you're going to sign up with Google. So once you're in, you get to select from creating um, a video from text or creating a video from image. And um, you can actually um, repaint your video, but that's a feature that's coming soon. So once you scroll, you're going to find some more generations on their feed. And you can see they look like pretty decent. They look like pretty decent, if you ask me. And I think the quality is like good, like really good. I don't know if these are generated, they were generated with the text, the video, or with an image that they brought in to animate. So we're just going to try out um, the tool and we're going to see how good or how bad it is. So I'm just going to try um, the text the video first. I'm going to type man in an astronaut suit walking through the cyberpunk cityscape. Now you can click on any of these options at the top to get um, an, a style that's like the style and you can click on this um, icon here to select the time of for some reason it is limited to only two seconds but they're going to roll out four seconds in a couple of weeks i guess so you click on generate when you're done so this is a cyberpunk dystopian kind of city but not what i had in mind to be honest and the guy seems to be walking towards the balcony like he's trying to drop down or something um this cityscape looks good but it feels kind of like an art kind of style rather than a realistic image i'm just going to take out this part of the prompt that i added by clicking your style so let, let's see what we're going to get we're just going to use a simple prompt because most people using this are just going to use a simple prompt either way so well it gave me almost the same image so i have no idea why but i guess you can play with the tool and be creative with your prompts to get something better. I'm just going to test their image to video, image to animation, whatever they call it these days. So I'm just going to drag and drop this image that I created with um, Tensor Art. A lot of people were saying Tensor Art is now paid. I have no idea why, but I'm still using it on a free plan. So I don't know, probably that's something for new users. A lot of people are complaining. Please leave, tell me in the comment section if you have experienced that. So this is the generation from using my own image. It looks decent. I like the movement and how the background moves like it's panning. Now I generated it twice, so let's see this one. Well this oh a nice blinking. She blinked and she's trying to come alive. I think it, their text to image, you have to like prompt a lot, but the image to video is pretty decent. It's pretty decent to character doesn't morph, but again, it's two seconds. So let's see what happens when they upgrade to the four seconds. I'm just going to test a different image, more like a Disney style image. So let's see what we're going to get. Well, this is 
I have learned to say, well, it looks okay, but you could pass for like a story, a children's story, kind of, you're trying to get like a quick animation or storyboard for something. And I like how it animated the bats in the background to kind of float, but even if the bat, bat wasn't flapping its wing, it was kind of floating. You can go over to Hyper AI to play with this tool. It's, com it's completely free for now, as we know most of these tools get paid plans later on. So thank you for watching. I have a lot of tutorials coming your way and subscribe so you don't miss any of them. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you.